and welcome to the Voice of Harrisburg. Uh, I'm your host, Will Scoggins, and uh, I hope you've joined us for at least an hour of pulchritude and despair here on Saturday night. We're doing the show a little different tonight. Uh, I'm going to uh, start the show at 9 o'clock, and uh, I'll go make the proper announcements on Facebook in just a minute. Um, let's see, this is the show for November 1st, 2014. Um, I haven't joined you in a while. Uh, seems tonight we have uh, internet connection. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but enjoy it while it does. Um, let's try some um, music by the Flaming Groovies. Let's see what sh the name of the song is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tell Me Again is the name of the song. So here we go. Sense of direction. She's. Still 
Okay, now that was um, Logan Whitehurst. Let me see if that was Logan Whitehurst and his. Uh, let me see here. Uh, that was Logan Whitehurst and jun Junior Science Club. She's ten feet tall. And before that, we heard um, Blaming Groovies. Uh, Tell me again. And uh, I think it's a great song. Uh, Flaming Groovies. Tell me again. Uh, I had some Flaming Groovies on here. Uh, luckily to find that in the uh, free music archive uh, was something else um, find a lot of good stuff in the free music archive w, d out over at WFMU one of the great radio stations left in the country uh, that's not been bought out and uh, turned into mush uh, still got freeform radio like us we have freeform radio here at the voice of Harrisburg um, you may not like every song you hear but uh, we are here to have free form radio and say what's on our minds and hopefully say what's on your mind um, right now I am sick to death of political ads I think I know Georgia they're saying Georgia Senate race is one of going to be and a Georgia governor's race is going to be close um, I'm hoping that we can send some people home. I know other people are sitting there saying, I'm hoping we'll send so-and-so home, and you're probably not hoping for the same so-and-so I'm hoping for. But anyway, uh, vote. Uh, I will say that uh, I'm, I'm not voting for anybody from Columbia County. Uh, if you're sending Rick Allen to Columbia County, you're making a uh, Senator Rick Allen from Columbia County to the Senate, you're making a mistake. Uh, look at the family history, I'll just say that. Uh, related to uh, Kay Allen, who was uh, left under um, a cloud. She was a tax commissioner in uh, Columbia County and left under a deep cloud. Possibly should have faced charges. And uh, her husband, uh, who, uh, you know, God knows what they've done, what they've done, but I know for a fact that the family and families like them are sitting on property that is worth multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars, and through a loophole not meant for them, they are paying a whole lot less than they should be paying. It's been documented in the Metro, Metro Spirit in la this year. They ran an es es expose on them and how they're sitting up there taking advantage of a tax loop that has absolutely nothing to do with what, what they're about. And they are paying a pittance of the tax that they should be paying. And they're all about how they're, they're Christians and they're, they're this and they're that and they're crooks. Okay, they're crooks. Now, granted, a politician's a crook, but you know you got to take one. You, get, you just got to take the one that stinks the less, or the one one that, the, that you're used to the stink. And frankly, I'm used to John Barrow's stink, I guess. Uh, as as I, I hate to say that, but it's back, lack of a better thing here. Uh, honesty in politics, forget that. Somebody saying they're a Christian and they got all these values. That's the first thing that's the red flag to me. If you're waving the Bible and a flag in front of my face, I'm going to walk the other way. But uh, that's just me. Uh, that's how the rich get richer, and uh, somebody has to make up that tax difference, I'm sure. And I'm sure that the, 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 the 
tax burden is shifted over to the older people, to, like my mother, who's been living there for years. She's paying her fair share. She's never got a break, and she's certainly not got a break like that. My family, my family's been living there before the Allens even came there, and we've never had a break like that, where we sat on property that was worth seven hundred thousand dollars and paid for property that was valued at thirty thousand dollars. You know, you're paying for thirty. You're paying for thirty thousand dollars worth, but your house and your land's worth seven hundred thousand dollars. Now, how fair is that? But people won't listen to that, so they want to vote on getting rid of John Barrow because he's Obama's lap dog and got to stop the liberal agenda. I don't even think there's a liberal left in this country. Bernie Sanders is the closest thing you got to a liberal, and it, and he's one person. The rest of the goddamn country is so far to the right you can't even they can't see straight. Anyway, let's get back into the music. Oh, happy Halloween, by the way. We'll have shit record covers. Uh, political commentary later. Uh, Halloween music, because I'm still in the Halloween spirit. This is uh, the Sonics, the great Sonics. Uh, let me see. Um, Vampire's Kiss. Yeah, it's live, too. Let's see. Wait a minute. There it is.
this just live from the newsroom. Um, according to a post on Facebook, I'm not sure if it's uh, real or not, but uh, you might check it out if you're downtown Augusta. Uh, go to the loft, uh, the bar called the loft. Uh, supposedly, Smooth and the Bully Boys are putting on a free show right now. Uh, haven't heard, it, haven't seen it for myself, but uh, post on Facebook says so. So check out. Uh, Smooth and the Bully Boys free show at the loft, which doesn't make sense because they started the U.S. tour here a week or two ago. Are they back closing it out? That's quick. That's very fast. That's very fast for them to be back already. It doesn't make sense. They were, on, they were supposed to go on a pretty good U.S. tour and they were starting it here in Augusta. And it started, it started just a week ago. Uh, maybe two weeks ago. Ah, that, that does not make sense to me. But anyway, uh, if you're downtown, check that out. Uh, let's get back to the music here. Let's see what we're going to listen to. Uh, uh, the Judy Blooms, Universal Brain here. Let's see. Let's try that.
Okay, that was uh, the Judy Blooms, and the uh, song was called The Universal Brain. Uh, yeah, that was some, uh, a little bit of um, Halloween music for you. Uh, somehow, don't tell anybody, but the show has been on the air for a few minutes and hasn't any problems. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that. I'll have to knock, knock on something, knock on wood or something. Um, so, we have to talk about the, uh, let's see, the 10th district race for Georgia's Senate seat is a fucking mess. You have, I think, now I may be, I may be wrong, I know, I know I'm right about one candidate, uh, you got Jody Heiss, who's white and he's running against uh, I, I don't know the man's name uh, I have somebody has to tell me I think it's a man's African American Jody Heiss if you thought Paul Brown had his head up his ass Paul Brown looks like a, a towering intellectual giant compared to Jody Heiss Jody Heiss is the first class backwards ass moron a I mean a, a I don't even know if I don't even know if Sarah Palin would even uh, I, probably on probably on the, on the uh, Michelle Bachman lunacy scale I mean this guy uh, is so he's got his head so far up his ass that he believes in you know fairy tales about six thousand year old earth and uh, no evolution and no climate change and you know he thinks that islam is a is a religion of hate and and everybody that's in islam is out to kill you know the, the white guys and all that shit and i'm afraid he's going to win given the absolute stupidity and racist attitudes of the voters in the district. I don't think there's enough African Americans and uh, progressive progressive voters to turn the other guy in. I mean, if the other guy hit his head with a hammer and was brain damaged, he'd probably be brighter than this Jody Heiss. I mean, this guy is a real nut job, and I don't understand. And I, I, if if, if I fail to see something here. I don't see why people like this are not laughed off the stage. When they get up, why do they end up with money and signs and people sending them out? I think because they're so stupid that they are, they'll, they'll let the powers that be manipulate them. And they'll stand up there and say all that shit. They'll go to these churches and they'll say all that shit to these people who got shit for brains too and uh, they will um, you know it I dream of a Georgia where people like that are just you know people like that are just you roll your eyes and you go on and they're not taken seriously and they're saying okay we need to take you back to the nut house and give you medication okay we need to be more progressive than to vote, even vote for, even consider voting for an idiot like this. But I'm afraid he's going to get elected because of racism, because of deep-seated, ingrained, hard-to-kill racism. Because I think the other guy's African American, and I don't think he's got a chance. He could walk on water, you know, do handstands, uh, have a plan to, you know, make the tenth district the, the 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 brightest, best place in the damn envy of the whole planet and because he's black the the whiteys ain't going to go for it that's what we're dealing with we're still de we're still dealing with entrenched deep-seated backwards ass peckerwood hillbilly rednecks and it's sad uh it, I, I can't say enough I can't, I don't know, Georgia just, Georgia just, uh, Georgia frightens me, 
Georgia voters frighten the shit out of me. The, the, especially the church going bunch that, that are sure that they're right. Because, you know, see, if you look back at the, at the old civil rights, uh, the old civil rights era, those people's parents were throwing bricks and yelling nigger at Martin Luther King and telling people to stay out of their schools and going to church on Sunday too. Okay, it's the same. It's 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 the same shit, but a different bunch of faces. It's a new generation of dummies. Okay, they passed it on to their kids. Stupid gets passed on to your kids. But anyway, here's a meal by Lecky. Uh, Let's see, what is this thing? This, this is Sexy Little Sub Girl. That's a funny little song. Let's see, where's that song? Sexy Little Sub Girl. Sexy Little Sub Girl. 23, new to these. Sweet, naive, naughty, by the green blue eyes. Some sexy down with experience and genuine. Twenty-three to thirty-six inches plus. She is a sexy little sweat girl. She is a sexy little sweat girl. We will now head into the jungle and see what we can find.
Okay. All right, let's see. First off, we heard from uh, Amir by Lucky, sexy little sub girl. I, I, I like that. I like that. I don't think she's ordering sandwiches. Uh, so, let's see. Um, after that, we heard from a t blah, 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 it's easy for me to say Apache. Uh, anyway, we will now head yeah. into the jungle. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we got Apache Tomcat um, rocking in the jungle, and uh, that's a pretty cool little song. Uh, you're listening to the voice of Harrisburg. I'm running a little bit early. I ran the show early tonight because um, I went on ahead. I, I got on while I could get on. I took advantage of just being able to get on the air. Uh, I hadn't been able to do that in a few weeks. I don't know what the problem is, uh, whether it's a problem in my house or what. But anyway, uh, we are on, and we've been on for, I don't even want to say how long we've been on for. Any hoot. Uh, let's see. What shall we do? Um, let's see. Let's let's go to shit record covers. That's always my favorite part of the part of the time. Uh, shit record covers this week are. Um, let's see. I don't know which one to start with. All of them are bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. What was that? That was weird. Uh, anyway, let's go with this one. This is funny. Uh, listen, God speaks. Uh, this recording, it says, uh, this recording of great Bible stories will awaken new interest in the Old Testament. New interest in the Old Testament. Children of all ages will enjoy the thrill of hearing these great stories read as they were meant to be read. The storytelling style is strong and dramatic. It respects the biblical text. Stories include the Garden of Eden, parentheses, Adam and Steve, no, Adam and, oh, no, not Adam and Eve, sorry. Noah and the Nark, no, Noah and the Ark, sorry, I'm, my glasses are fogged up. Sto the story of Moses, the story of Moses, starring Charlton Heston. Uh, <coughs> give me a fucking rifle. I'll shoot this motherfucker. Uh, behind the bush. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah? No, Samson and Delilah, I'm sorry. David and Goliath. And the fiery furnace. It doesn't say a damn thing about the friggin' burning bush. That's false advertising. I would give that damn record back. And not buy. I wouldn't have bought that record. I would not buy that record because the burning bush ain't in there. I guess the way the stories are meant to be told is. The storytelling style is strong and dramatic. It respects the biblical text. I guess you have to, I guess you have to read the stories like that. You have to read it. The Garden of Eden, starring... <laughs> Ron Jeremy and... Never mind. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, Ron Jeremy is Adam. Forget that shit. Uh, speaking of nudity... Prefrontal nudity. Uh, here it is. This you really should cover your eyes for this one. This one. This one's sad. I can't decide if this is pre-Orleans or post-Orleans. This is so gay. Uh, it just oozes gayness. It oozes. It just oozes. I don't know. Colorway. I think you ought to call it Colorweeny. Um. It looks like the whole fucking town of Colorweeny signed it. I don't know if this is, like I said, I don't know if this is before um, Orleans or after Orleans. You know, Orleans did this thing with a bunch of naked men on a car. You know, it wasn't gay or nothing. They're just rubbing. I mean, that guy there. The, the, let me see this guy here. If I can, you can see me pointing, the third from the left. Oh, wait a minute, third from the left, I guess. He looks like he's down playing with his wee wee. I mean, he looks like he got his damn hand on it right there. To me, the guy with the beard, kind of in the center. 
not the bald guy, but the guy next to him with the hair, with the beard, and the mustache. He looks like he's got his hand right on it. He just he's just sitting down there playing, playing, waiting on Santa Claus or something. I mean, Jesus. And it looks like the whole town down here. I mean, there's six people in the band, and uh, this guy down here on the far right, he looks like he's uh, ready for Grandpa, Grandpa-ness. Uh, let's see. The whole fucking town of Color We signed it. All six. It looks like all six of them. It looks like some guy over here had to write a damn book or some shit. And somebody else wrote something down here at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, getting away from gay, gay men. Let's go to. Uh, I saw this movie in the 70s and I liked it and I was wondering what happened to this guy here's what happened to Pat Garrett after he killed Billy the Kid he got into computers and started drinking y yingling beer I don't know why he you know I guess killing Billy you know at one time Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid were like tight I don't know if a lot of people didn't know that they were friends and so Pat didn't really want to have to go after Billy but he went after him anyway because he got tied up in all that uh, um, the range war and all that kind of shit in uh, New Mexico. And uh, I guess this is what happened to him. He, he just, you know, after he got old and he quit uh, being a lawman, he just got into computers and been drinking yingling beer. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it just seems so weird. You know, that for a guy, for a guy that stature to end up like that. Wow, that's great music. Where's it coming from? Wow. Wow, that's some great music. Where's it coming from? That's great. Hey, cool. Did you hear that music? I'm not playing that. I don't know where it's coming from. And um, I hope that um, uh, YouTube doesn't get mad at me. Ah, there it went away. I hope somebody can hear it besides me. Cause anyway, here's another one. The Curlies. The uh, yuck, 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 yuck. Give me something to give. Well, fuck me. By the Curlies? What is this? On top of that man's head. Is that a rat? And what about this? Is that a girl? I guess that's a girl from that... Wow, that's great, man. Okay, cool. I keep getting into this, this really cool um, ska music. It keeps coming in somehow. Uh, don't ask me how. I hope you can hear it, because I sure can hear it. Uh, I haven't been taking my psychotic medication. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, give me something to give by the curlies. Yup, 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 yup. Um, James Moore here wants Jesus to use him. Now, what I think James Moore ought to get Jesus to use him for is a is a is a fucking drawing lesson. That's the first thing Jesus ought to do is sit James down and say, "Motherfucker, you can't fucking draw. Don't put no more of this shit on a, on an album that's got my name on it too." I mean, you know, come on, what is this crap? Anyway, last but not least, here's Crawl Space. I don't know what these motherfuckers are doing. It's got some some of that freaky deaky Dutch down here at the bottom of it, and I can't make out who the hell they are. They look like a bunch of guys either shoveling. Sh oh, there's a cow back there. Okay, I didn't see that. It looked like a damn Crawl Space until I saw the cow. Oh, there's cows. So they're shoveling shit. 
Well, they're shit shovelers. Okay, well. Maybe Vars Ingen Newton and, um, and someone's fucking word down there. Maybe that meant I spent my summer vacation shoveling shit in Belgium. Oh, wait a minute. I know what this is. This is Oh, this is how I spent World War II. Oh, okay. I was shoveling shit in Belgium instead of fighting the war, daddy. <laughs> ah, that's it. Oh, that's those. Oh, that's those guys. Okay, yeah, those guys that didn't that didn't join up with the Belgian army. Yeah, yeah. We spent our we spent the war shoveling shit. Yeah, like General Patton said we would. How do you do that to yourselves? You go. This is this is an album cover. You put yourself in a fucking barn, shoveling shit. Okay, whatever. What is this? I don't get this. You got to make an album. Maybe it's a contractual thing. Maybe it's like the butcher covers. You know, and the butcher covers were put out by the Beatles because they, you know, they were tired of people butchering their albums they thought their artwork was getting butchered by distributors and other companies that they put out when they put out an album they they put out certain artwork and they didn't get the artwork out the artwork they put out didn't get up on the album like they wanted it to before they put out yesterday and today and that's why they put out the butcher covers of them you know with the cut up babies and all that stuff they, they, it was their little jab at the record companies. So, so the story goes. But you put yourself in a barn with cow shit. Must be Christian rock. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Only they would do shit like that. Ah, let's see. What do we have here? Let's see, we have Radiana with uh, some Halloween music. Let's see, what is the name of the song? Glass Mountain. Radiana with Glass Mountain.
When monsters smash your toes, you have to bite their nose. Don't think you have no chance when monsters want to dance. Not all monsters are clumsy. Some dance quite divine. But if they trip and stumble, then take that as a sign. When monsters smash your toes, you have to bite their nose. Don't think you have no chance when monsters want to dance. If you, you can, can find, find a monster who's, who's as graceful as can be, you need to go a searching for a dancing fantasy. When monsters smash your toes, you have to bite their nose. Don't think you have no chance when, when monsters want to dance. Oh, fuck. Aha, I'm sorry, so clumsy. Of the graceful ones of flood. When monsters smash your toes, you have to bite their nose. Don't think you have no chance when monsters want to Okay, that was, uh, let's see, that was, who was that? Joanna Sandmark, uh, When Monsters Want to Dance. And before that, we had Radiana with Glass Mountain. Uh, let's see, we've had uh, Happy Halloween. Oh, uh, let's see, what else we got going on here? Let's see. Well, Jack, bassist Jack Bruce, uh, famous for being in Cream and... Uh, other bands uh, passed away last week, I guess. Ripe old age of 71. I don't really know what got him. I uh, really wasn't keeping up too much with that one. Um, enjoy them while they're here, folks. Uh, they ain't going to be here forever. None of us are. Enjoy the show while it's here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can, if we can get through this, uh, political season without a runoff and pulling our hair out with the results, uh, I hate to see how much the Koch brothers, uh, have poured of their own money into a lot of these races, um, to have all this, uh, negative ads and just out flat out lies about people and just just to uh and this happened here in georgia i mean they they the Koch brothers have spent a shit ton of money here in georgia telling a lot of lies about a lot of politicians um so uh anyway we have to get out and we have to vote and i should have early voted Kept saying I'm gonna get up and do it, get up and do it, get up. I never got up and did it. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's hear from Willie in the Ham Factory. Let's see what, what the name of this one is. Ah, I was playing that on the way in. Missing you. Let's see. Is that the one right there?
Set. We heard from Willie in the Hand Factory uh, a song called Missing You. The last song we heard there was from D.A. Dad, a Roommate in a Coma. Uh, kind of Halloween-y. Uh, may, it, may, it, may it be Halloween-y for you. I uh, hope you had a good Halloween. Um, the Ernest Two Bastards did. We played out as uh, the Coffin Bangers uh, at uh, Whole Foods up on Washington Road last night. Uh, 
got caught in the mighty wind that came up and uh, uh, did not see the snowfall uh, that came. Some people over in South Carolina got some a few flurries and this uh, I heard the weatherman on Friday say this system would not have or yeah Thursday night say this system will not have any moisture and I woke up Saturday at five o'clock in the morning or no it's eight o'clock in the morning it was pouring down rain I don't get it I'm glad they're not I'm glad they're not doctors I'm glad they're not nurses I'm glad they're not people in health care God forbid uh, maybe we should look at uh, you know maybe if we have not raped the shit out of mother nature so bad we should look at what mother nature does but you know man is going to rape the fuck anally rape mother nature with a two by four and then expect um, you know something different some of us want to do that all of us don't want to do that some of us want to stop that but there's people in this world that are hell-bent on just having their way and I guess there ought to just be some people that just are willing to lay down and lay down in the, in the lay down in the way and just if you have to get run over and you know get crushed then so be it stop some of these people that just want to have their way Maybe it's past time for people to start examining themselves and saying, is this the kind of world I want to live in where a bunch of people have their fucking way and I don't get to do anything. I got to stand on the sidelines and say, uh, budget cuts, uh, more taxes, um, you know, you got to do with less. You got to do less with more, less with more, less with more. You know, ain't that and trickle down did what part of trickle down did you not get it's a trickle stupid it's a trickle that's what you get a trickle that's what we all get on this end a trickle while they sit up there toasting themselves and getting fat off of us all we are is a all we are is some people to tax and we, they call us out every four years, every two years, whatever, and, and pretend like our vote counts. And so they can sit up there and be totally unaccountable. I've never seen this country be in the shape of this end that has been since Ronald Reagan took office years ago. That's when it started. It's been on a slow downhill ever since. A few little spikes upward, but mostly downhill. And you voted for it. You voted him in. It's sad. You voted for your own demise. I didn't vote for him. Anyway, here's the Crip sisters.
I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime When the flowers on the hillside bloom I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime I hope to see you soon I dreamed of you the other night Tried to kiss you but you turned away You whispered softly in my ear Couldn't hear what you had to say I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime When the heather and the ice lips bloom I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime I hope to see you soon Your children Scattered in the wind Got babies all of their own Time's growing short here on earth They'll see you in a heavenly home I'm going to Kentucky in the spring the heather and the ice lips bloom I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime I hope to see you soon Please come to Kentucky in the springtime When the heather and the ice lips bloom My grave on a lonesome hill. I hope to see you soon. Horky dorky. Uh, let's see, uh, that was a song by me, uh, I'm going to Kentucky in the springtime, um, I'll be playing that on, uh, who, Saturday, November the 8th at Acoustic Palooza, uh, which is a fundraising, uh, endeavor at, uh, Mad Studios, uh, tickets are 10 bucks, it's, uh, me and... Eli Harrington and Preston Rome, all the good people on all good people on Saturday night. <laughs> Actually, it's a two night thing. Uh, for this, there's some people on Friday night, and I don't know who they are. I die. Nah, I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. Uh, there's some people on Friday. Uh, there's Kathy Benedetto's on Friday night, That's, and uh, uh, some guy with three names. That's real good. I can't remember what his name is. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm horrible with names, and and you know uh so anyway uh it looks like uh, i am selling tickets i'm supposed to be <laughs> i need to get up off my ass and sell some tickets um acoustic palooza will happen uh november 7th and 8th uh and 10 bucks uh about 10 bucks if you buy a ticket if you buy a ticket from me that means you go on saturday night to see me and preston and be and all that we're ha we're having we're taping it or recording it whatever you say nowadays I don't know, I say tape because I come from the old days tape I, mean, I still tape shit so you know um, uh, we're recording uh, the uh, festivities and if you buy a ten dollar ticket you will get a free download of um, three I don't think we're doing four songs each and I think you get a download of three of the songs. 
because uh, one of one of, one of the songs we're saving out to go on the live CD, which is going to be available later or something. I I'll find out more tomorrow at um, church. Uh, now I got to go help Stony tomorrow uh, do some uh, playing uh, for either because either a CD or a performance. I'm not sure which. I don't care. So I'm not playing. I don't really care. Somebody just sit me up there and tell me what to play and I'll do it. Uh, tell me what they want and I'll do it and uh, try to give them what they want. But anyway, um, I don't I don't know whether we whether we're doing it for recording purposes or whether we're doing it for performance purposes. It matters not to me. I really don't care. It's playing and it's that's that. Uh, the reason the show hasn't really been on that much is because basically I've been out um, with uh, trying to do either the Ernest T. Bastards are doing um, Willie and the Ham Factory trying to play on Saturday night so uh, we've been, I've, been, I've been incredibly busy uh, here of late let's see like I said the Bastards played last night uh, the Bastards will play again on November the 7th uh, which is why I couldn't take the Friday night show because we're going to play um, at um uh uh, first Friday, I hope if it's not, you know, if it's not windy and 30 degrees outside and raining or something, something crazy, you know, some crazy stuff. But if it's, you know, if it's fairly moderate outside, we'll, we'll, we'll brave it. We'll brave the temperatures. We're not, we're not wusses. We can put on jackets. Hell, we're not, we're not out, we're not out in, well, this is not upstate New York, you know, we're not out in the, we're not out in the uh, Adirondacks. I mean, you know, by now the, Poor people up there is freezing their butts off. But uh, anyway, uh, Acoustic Palooza is coming up the 8th. Uh, Master's Show on the 7th. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. Uh, Ernest T. Bastards have a show at Stillwater Tap, Stillwater Tap Room in January, I think. And I've got a show... Uh, down in Charleston coming up in January sometime. I've got to check my calendar for that. Be sure I've still got that. Uh, I've got a solo show down in Charleston, so it should be interesting um, playing down there. Uh, uh, anyway, so i got to get my butt in gear and get start getting ready for three sets and maybe finding somebody to go with me on that one. Uh, a travel partner or something. Uh... Anyway, um, let's see if we can hear. I tried some Willie and the Hand Factory songs. I couldn't get a lot of them to play. Let's try Flaming Groovies again. Let's try. Let's see what this one is. Uh, you tore me down. That's a good song. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Flaming Groovies on WFMU, Terry T's Cherry Blossom Clinic. Sweet home Alabama, sweet home Beulah Land. Okay, and that little set we heard from, um, let me see, who did we hear from? That was Willie and the Hand Factory, uh, Beulah Land, and the first song we heard was um, The Flaming Groovies, You Tore Me Down. And uh, let's see, I want, I want you to know our sponsors tonight are the Webster Corporation from Chicago. Webster Dash Chicago Corporation. Uh, I guess they're in Chicago that make these little metal things here. If you can see it, uh, it goes in your 45s RPMs. Yeah, they're our sponsors for the night. And we're also brought to you tonight by Jittery Joe's Coffee. Mm-mm, it's good. It's pee picking good. I can't say pee picking. I don't think. Cause that's kind of like, well, Tennessee Ernie Ford's dead, and I don't care. It's pee picking good. Jittery Joe's. I'm jittery right now. Can't you tell? Uh, if you're in Athens, Georgia, check it out. It's good. I said so. Thank you. Good night. Anyway. I thought we needed some corporate sponsors there. Now I can have my my, my pencil jar back. Uh, yeah, thanks to the Webster 
Dash Chicago Corporation for their support and Jittery Joe's. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you got, you've been listening to the Voice of Harrisburg, and I'm your host Will Scoggins, and uh, we've been on the air for an hour and 23 minutes, and I don't know what's wrong with the internet tonight because this shouldn't be working because it never works. Uh, so I don't know what to tell you. It's one of them things, you know. Um, <clears throat> let's review for all our people at home taking notes. Uh, if you come up upon a burning bush, what should you do? Well, I've never seen a bush that burned, but I've seen them get pretty hot. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Listen, God speaks. If you hear a bush talking to you, I've had them damn near talk to me. But if you ever have one talk to you, you better listen to it. It'll say, Bill, get away from me. That's too hard. Slower. Slower. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd seen God in a few of them. Uh, you know, they see God in tacos, so. Anyway, uh, here's one here. Crawl sp oh, that, we decided that wasn't crawl space. That was a barn. And these guys here were the four guys that didn't go to World War II. They end up shoveling shit in Belgium. Yeah, okay. And then we had Color Wee Wee. Uh, with, uh, I don't know if they're post-Orleans or pre-Orleans. I, I, I can't tell. But everybody in Color Wee, the town, signed the record, I think. And then we had James Moore needed Jesus to use him to draw with, to teach him how to draw because he can't draw with a shit. Where do these people get these five-year-olds to draw their record cover that they're going to put out? This is supposed to be the proudest moment, and they got this shit. I don't understand it. Well, it made shit record cover, so. And then we got the Curleys. Uh, give me something to give. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. Uh, we don't know what the dad got on his head. Uh, sexually ambiguous child over here. Uh, mom looks like she's needing a little bit of the old in out in out, and the son I think he's just I think he's either going to turn into a tranny or a fucking serial killer. I can't I, I really can't tell. I don't know what this kid turned out to be. I think he's seriously fucked up. Uh, you know he had to go every day with a damn his damn dad went around looking like that every fucking day uh, with a sexually ambiguous uh, sexually ambiguous sibling. And a mom that looked like, yeah, she needs a little, anyway, <laughs> I don't think she knew what to do with it. Anyway, and then we had uh, Pat Garrett, we found out what happened after he uh, killed Billy the Kid. He got into computers and drinking beer. So, that was that. Uh, this is this, and that's that, and it's been an hour and 20, almost an hour and a half, so. That's pretty cool. Uh, we haven't had that, and we had that, haven't had that happen in, in months and months and months to be able to stay on the air that long. So I don't know how we did it, uh, what we did to do it, how we're going to do it again. Uh, I think we'll sign off here now and uh, let you go home. And uh, I follow Sil Sarah Silverman on. Um, Facebook. She's my Facebook friend. Huh? Isn't it cool? I'm friends with Sarah Silverman. Yeah, she said something interesting the other day. She said, "Porn. You only realize how depraved porn is that until after, you, right after you orgasm. Think about it. I'll leave you with that thought. <laughs> and uh, you can listen to the boys of Harrisburg, and uh, I thank you and." Good night and uh, drive home safely. And maybe we'll be. Uh, let's see. Next week is the seventh, so eighth. So uh, eighth is Acoustic Palooza. Uh, probably not a show. I don't think I. Now Acoustic Palooza, I'm gonna have to be on my best behavior down there. They tell me I can't swear and fuck. I can't swear. 
Right, anyway, so I probably won't have a show on Saturday, but maybe on Sunday. Depends on how practices are running and everything. Uh, be on the lookout for uh, the uh, Willie and the Ham Factory or the Ernest T. Bastards or me or somebody like me coming near you pretty soon. So thank you and good night.